Hey guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So we're gonna get back into that stone world with Dr. Stone, episodes 5 and 6. Uh, but usually how it looks really cute with that pixie haircut. And play. Yeah, but I don't see how Senku is gonna be able to avoid that, like, strike. So, let's see... Give up science. kind of tangent but I didn't realize how like you know you know auburn kind of hair color that Tsukasa has or I don't know maybe it's just me the colors look more vibrant today No, you're so far away. Hurry up. Uh, I don't know. I think he should have at least taken those branches. <laughs> the old man. If he was their friend. Oh man, he looks so nice with short hair. Maybe he couldn't do it. Who was the blonde haired girl? Oh, shoot, he came back just in time to see that. Damn. Yeah, I don't know if it's like today the internet is just good, but everything is just crystal clear, crisp quality, like 1080p as it should be. I guess my internet usually sucks, so like, <laughs> Anyways, I guess he actually did get hit by the ball, but with Senku's like intelligent mind, I'm sure he didn't die instantly, as uh, Tsukasa said, and... Or it could be one of the new people who's also pretty smart or strong or whatnot saved him. Because there was a girl at the, you know, who like saw the signal and, you know, she was kind of standing with like, oh, she also had blonde hair and like a high ponytail. So maybe she, I don't know, maybe she saved him. She looked like, I think I remember she had a black pack. She looked kind of cool. But, you know, is yeah, that girl. It, it wasn't coincidence where, like, in the flashback, they showed, like, a blonde-haired girl. And then now there's a blonde-haired ponytail girl. So, could be her, maybe. Yeah. Love interest for Senku? <laughs> yeah. Senku doesn't seem like the type interest that. He's like, I'm a science man. I'm a man of the science. But, you know, if Sheldon Cooper can find love, so can Senku. <laughs> Let's go. Stone world, the beginning. Damn! It, like he said, instant. I'd expect like a pool of blood, but he actually did say, hit it and...
Oh damn. He felt the animal within. I will also attack back. Uh. Nope, he's stucking with his promise. He's not gonna hurt people. He's just... Wait, wait. I don't think he's gonna throw it at... Mm. Thank goodness she knew that idea too and ran with it. Escape with the... Is that the gun powder? Nice, not fighting with the fist, but strategically. Oh, that will activate the gunpowder. And then they're going to fall off the cliff. Or somehow escape. Yeah, but if they didn't have that strong friendship and just like, you know, that like telepathy... What do you call it? Like, you know, they know each other's... Ooh, mine well enough. Damn, he doesn't get hurt. He doesn't burn. But I think that was mostly just to get away. Yeah. Damn, this dude... <laughs> Until we meet again. Now, I've seen it in a lot of movies and stuff where people fake their death. Just, I don't know. Let's just keep watching.
I feel like that's a reference to something. And I don't know it. So this is a club. I thought they're like in chem chemistry class. All right. I bet you 10 billion percent you'll wake up. Yeah, you created a rocket when you were like middle school. Wow, that's friendship. Love, I love these artistic, like, halfway points. I guess he just counts enough for like a year or something and he counts how many years that is and because he says he loses consciousness every a hundred thousand seconds.
Why does he have such a great body? Like... <laughs> I thought they'd be like, oh my gosh, that monkey's naked. <laughs> well, I guess that's what they're implying since he's shiny. His skin is shiny. Yeah. I think monkeys live about half as long as humans do. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my god. So much math. Let me teach you, yeah, how to make fire. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen a lot of videos, but it's actually a lot harder to make a fire than people think. Because you need enough friction for this to work. And if you're not strong enough, it won't catch on. Yeah. I mean, it sucks because you got all the ideas in your head, but you can't execute them to how you like. <laughs> Shiny monkey acquires tools and like <laughs> game style. Making some rope, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> oh. 
I want to see him like making clothes because when we saw him, he was wearing. Monkey, become my friend. Help us. Monkey's curious. Yeah, trap activated. Not trap, science. There we go. But we didn't actually see him make it, just finish it. <laughs> This prehistoric shiny monkey has made a house of his own. Adiene, I can't believe it. He has evolved. You should bow down to <laughs> Yes. All in six months. Actually, I don't know how many months, but a couple of months work. Oh, that was really nice. Uh, all right, episode six and play. Ah. That's like really well built. I'm amazed. Oh yeah, and I thought we'd go back to like present time, but... Oh, so he actually moved him, so... And then, you know, when we first saw that cave, he was already collecting the nitric acid. <laughs> oh, the cave's right there, too. I imagine that to be really heavy. That is the real question, million dollar question. Yeah, humans and sparrows. Not like birds, like sparrows specifically. Yeah.
question is, you guys lived 3,700 years underneath the stone. Yeah, and it changed back to living cells. That's a key. Ah, so that's how. Oh, so they must have dropped some when they were going back. I thought you needed the alcohol too? Or cause it was just like a tiny piece so it And like that stone one is probably thicker Thicker and bigger <laughs> Troll face Only he needed nitric acid. Probably some chemicals from your hair. <laughs> but then he still got like a piece of... Mm. Oh yeah, I was thinking other people... We're conscious, but only Senko was able to count. Was it because he was in the chem lab and... Einstein. Won't give up. Oh man, this this type of friendship. Come on, blink. Yes, life in the eyes. 
The sun comes out. It's a beautiful day. Don't scream, Taiju. <laughs> dun da da dun. Man, you got over an A plus. It's Wait, what? Oh, okay. They haven't played the opening yet. I didn't even realize. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, this is very nice to see, like, him and how he, like, lived during that six months. Because, like, you know, I know he's a science man, but it was great seeing how he didn't just, like, oh, it didn't come easy for him. He actually had to work, try at it, test, hypothesize. You know, as long as he didn't give up, but that's always been his personality because that's why they gave, they show us his childhood and how he, he was believing so much in his dreams that he studied so much, read so much about, because when you're a kid, you just want to like play around with your friends and you know, there's social barriers that keep you from doing them. He didn't care what people say. He just did what he loved and it's nice that his friends and his father supported him. So... Whatever he learned, he applied it to those six months, and <laughs> I actually thought those monkeys would be a minion for him, but, like, I mean, if they were, we would have saw them at, like, the beginning of episode one. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I could hear the jungle books, like, playing. Yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, something about Senku. Like, he was able to keep conscious all these 3,700 years, which, you know, that's not possible, scientifically-wise, anyways. But something about him. Because everyone else was unconscious. Hmm. I guess he didn't see it because, like, he's got that, like, collar flap over his neck. Yeah, everyone lived. We got everyone back. Are those on his clothes?
be good as long as you don't let Tsukasa know. Pretend to be on Tsukasa's side. Oh, that's true. It's gonna be like two different factions, cause... Mm, that's true. Yeah, reviving... I mean, when you do that, you're making those evil, you know, people. Is he gonna find those three people? I mean, there's probably other places to look for nitric acid, but it's probably gonna be harder than... Yeah. Hmm. Man, you guys are like already men. You, you guys are three thousand seven hundred sixteen years old. <laughs> Maybe even years, decades. Oh no! It's don't don't. I don't know, I feel like it's not gonna go well, but you never know. So now his hair is more like dark brown. Earlier it was kind of like a reddish, dark red. Oh, one of the new... Oh shoot, it's the blonde hair girl! Foreigner? Oh yeah, he doesn't know about the new people. You don't know her age. She's from the Amazon. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, I like
like her. Damn! Oh, and he's so close. Don't tell me they're gonna meet right now. Wait, unless this is like a different scene. Maybe she revived early and she just grew up from a younger age. Yeah, I feel like she's lived here in this world for a couple years and then she like got strong, fought for herself. But when she revived, she was probably younger. Wow. Archimedes. Archimedes. <laughs> Pulley, yeah. Hurry, get out of there! Ooh, nice name. Two nations of the stone war war two nations. And that's it. Oh yeah, I realized the series doesn't have a preview of the next episode. 
so I'll never accidentally get spoiled by something. Anyways, he's so hypocritical that Tsukasa wants to create a world with no evil, but he is like, to make the best, to make the best world, you do like the dirtiest means possible, and that's what he's trying to do. I mean, he said it so himself, like, he doesn't care what it takes. He's going to, like, make his own vision of the world. On Senku's side, he's gonna make his own vision. For a second, I thought Tsukasa and Senku would meet. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's only, it's only been, like, maybe a few minutes, half a day. I don't know how long it took. I don't think it took that long, because, like, you know, after the explosion, we went on to reviving Senku, and then that flashback happened, so half of episode 5 and half of episode 6. Very satisfying to see Senku use his knowledge of science and like apply it and have it work when he asked her what generation I got a little confused I'm like what do you mean she's younger or like she doesn't know I think what it was is that Kohaku I don't think she was a baby because like she can speak Japanese I think she was just really young when she got petrified and then she probably her stone got de decayed earlier and then she was able to survive and then she just been living off of this world and like getting strong training herself for survival and I'm not sure the exact age because like you know I'm seeing Tsukasa he's probably a really tall dude just because he's like so super unbelievably strong so I'm just like oh he's tall and she's short but like he's like you look young so I'm like what does that mean and then when he said like a generation difference I, I'm thinking she's younger but she looks like their age just because I think she grew up but there is like a few years difference I don't know I'm just making guesses at this point I do like her idea ideology where she's like I saw you take captive Yuzuriha and he calls she calls Senku the sorcerer guy I'm like wait a minute the sorcerer guy and because she thought Senku died she was like you're gonna die too I'm gonna send you to hell whatnot but unfortunately for her she didn't know how crazy strong Tsukasa is and easily stopped her knife like the knife was yeah that, that is just so crazy because I feel like I mean, if it was, like, a normal person and he stopped it, fine. But since she she looks to be pretty strong, he stopped it like it was nothing. And then he hit her, she went down, and then he just threw a whole tree at her. Luckily, none of her bones were broken, which I thought was crazy. And, yeah, she's just amazed at science since I believe she doesn't have enough knowledge and she's just she only knows about, like, fighting and survival instinct. So to see Senku, like, pulled it off, talking about Archimedes and Archimedes. I don't know, when I hear the word Archimedes, I just want to say in like a Archimedes kind of voice. Yeah. And uh, using the pulley, pulley bamboo gun. I don't think he used gunpowder, but he, he put something black inside the bamboo, I think to hold it together and whatnot. And the soap and the rope and rocks. They threw out her there. And then after she was there, she was like, I've taken quite a liking to you. I guess it doesn't really matter because I don't think Senku, this could be a love interest or maybe she's just, you know, you're interesting and I just want to know more about the science, about you, about people in general because, you know, you're usually alone. One thing about science that doesn't match up is if you've been alone for a really long time, no matter how much of an introvert you are, you know, humans are social beings and like if you are left alone, you will develop like some kind of like social phobia and like a fear of people, anxiety, nervousness, like you'll be an actual animal. Yeah, I get it. This is a work of fiction based off of real life science. Yeah, I like her name, Kohaku. Kohaku is a very like traditional Japanese name. So yeah, Taiju and Senku's partying. We don't know when's the next time we'll meet each other and I guess you're just gonna see each side of it and hopefully, I mean, we don't know what Senku told Yuzuriha besides like, you know, be a spy and get information. He probably wants her to do something else. And, you know, Taiju, just protect Yuzuriha. Let her do her thing. You protect her. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys for next reaction. Peace out.